Hi everyone, comic book reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 3 of Crisis on Infinite Earths. Now as you know this was meant to be a 12 part series that was meant to be a clean slate to the DC comic series and the cover mainly indicates as to what the story is going to have and what it's going to be. And the story starts off with the Monitor observing Alexander Luthor from Earth 3, who has aged into a teenager, and of course is more fascinated by the fact that he's now a mix of positive and negative matter. We see how how Highbringer is a little occupied that, he, that he's ignoring her, and it's later revealed that she's working with the Anti-Monitor with Psycho Pirate. And of course, we see that the Anti-Monitor has got bigger plans. We see how after the events of going back into the future to meet Iris again, after a fiasco that happened, we see Barry saying, I lived here for only a month now. A month of happiness. A month of hope. And of course, sees that there's natural disasters. And of course, this will also lead up to the other Crisis storyline, where Flash would end up on Earth D, and this always would take place between issue 4 and 5. So we see how in the current current year at the time, 1985, we see how the Teen Titans and Outsiders are trying to hold things back, and trying to make sure to keep civilians safe. We also see that Wonder Girl tasks Halo into looking for any other, other civilians and sees that there's a young girl under the bed who she quickly rescues. And we see that Nightwing sees that Donna's about to get crushed by debris but luckily saved by Superman. And of course we do see how Starfire tries to take it out the energy wave herself but Superman tries to calm her down. We see how Flash shows up, and Batman tries to go to Flash to try and pull him out, but we see how Jericho saves him just in time as the Flash fades out again. And we even see how Brainiac is surprised and shot by the energy wave, and quickly has to leave quickly, experiencing fear for the first time. We see how in Mokovia, in in 1944, how Sergeant Rock and his men try to take down the Nazis, and we see how one of the, the the towers have been placed there, with the other heroes from the other Earths and stuff trying to protect it. And we see how even the army are amazed by seeing these other heroes, and we see how Geo Force tries to save the, the Markovians, and we even see how Blue Beetle tries to keep keep things under airborne. And we even see how a Nazi says, Americans, leave now, or this stupid flower woman shall get die. And of course, we see how one of the officers known as Flowers manages to save the flower woman. And we see how Geo Force tries to, to get the civilians out from safety. And of course, they see that the Nazis are planning to use the tower for their own purposes, but we see how Sergeant Rock and his team going guns and blazing. And just then, half their teammates end up getting taken by the by the, the sort of shadow like creatures. And killing off some of their teammates, and then trying to make a break for it. And we see how Blue Beetle learns that his suit also can kill these other shadow like demons but of course we do see how they still become a bit overwhelmed and we see how monitor sees this as a failed experiment and decides to send them back to their earths we see how the earth 2 superman and the others are getting ready to protect the next tower and we see how solver meets kidami a kid from another earth and from a timeline where Earth had become a, a sort of post-apocalypse world. 
and him saying, Sullivan, what is it? I don't know, young one. I feel weak inside. It was a pleasure to have met you. Be wise, young one. One, be... Sullivan! Sullivan! And of course, we see how Sullivan is taken back to his earth. And of course, we see how at the Old West, a character called Batlash ends up getting thrown out of a bar. And is quickly kicked out. He even gets word from Shona Hex and the others about a strange tower. And kind of meets the other characters. Like Nighthawk. Also Kit One No. And so on. And just as other heroes show up. They try to quickly fire. But they quickly figure out one of them who's wearing a Green Lantern costume. Is part of the core. But just then, we see the other shadow demons showing up, with Sison and the others trying to take them down. And of course, Green Lantern realising his ring isn't that charged up. And we see how Black Blackhawk tries to make, make, make a break for it, and sees to his shock and horror that the town is being decimated in the anti-matter wave, and ends up getting taken as well. And of course... We see how in the far future, the Legion of Superheroes have to do what they can. One of them, Kid Psycho, ends up getting crushed by debris and killed off in the anti-matter wave. And just as the monitor's going through the files, we see Highbringer saying, Wrong, old fool. It's time for you to die. And this is the story. So in my opinion, issue three is not too bad. We do kind of see how other heroes are trying to band together, others don't want to lose their new homes, and I think, yeah, you can tell they're building up to a good storyline. So I think this issue still deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, Comic Viewy here, signing out.